Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for FPS Toolkit Lite. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a new weapon to your weapon state data table. First, we will have to prep our mesh, the weapon mesh. Uh, just to speed things up, I already add them here, but I'll go through them to explain each one and what it does. So as you can see, I have a shell socket right here. This one is responsible for playing the visual effect when firing, uh, the shell falling off. And also it's used to attach the bullet static mesh. So when you check your magazine, you'll see the, the bullet mesh is added. I'm gonna send another update to the marketplace. So the bullet will not show when the mag is empty. The ammo check is a used to play to locate the widget uh, on the mag for when you check in the, the magazine and also we have a nozzle socket this one for the visual effect a firing visual effect as you can see and also we have the aim point the aim point is very important is used to calculate our weapon sway and also the ads so when you aim it will align the hands in the weapon with the screen center all right so you can check this on the existing weapons uh, such the rifle pistol and the shotgun and you can see the location and rotation of each uh, i also prepped the animation montage uh, for the weapon and also the, the the arms and for this example here uh, let's take a look quick so one thing I would like to suggest for you is you keep your blend time for all the montages, including the weapon, to 0 0.1 or even 0. This will allow us to transition quickly to the animation without consuming some of the details from the, the montage itself. So 0 0.1 or 0 is perfect. One other thing you need to keep in mind keep the blend time and the blend out time for the arms and the weapon matching so therefore uh, the both animation will sync properly if you put different time here and different time on the weapon they might not sync accordingly so keep that in mind all right so let's dive into our weapon state data table and also to speed things up, even for you, not just for the tutorial, you can just right click on one of the weapons and you can duplicate uh, the row, change the name to the new weapon name. In this case, it's uh, MP5. As you can see here, we have five sections. Each section is responsible for either the weapon, the projectile, animations on both the arms and the weapon, cosmetics, and the cues for firing, sound effects, and visual effects. Alright, so let's start with the weapon setup. Uh, since we are adding a submachine, we'll just set it as a rifle. If you would like to add additional types, just go to weapon type enums, you can search that. And you'll find the enum and you can add as many types as you want uh, the rarity we can change it to rare the weapon appearance this is where you're going to set the look of your mesh like the mesh of your gun so mp5 body skin if you have a custom skin for it the grip if the animation using a grip then you can add the grip otherwise we'll clear this up sight if you want to add a sight to the weapon mesh we are not this gun comes with the sight already so for the bullet we'll change this to a single bullet and it's the 45 bullet and also decoration so the, the decoration is right and left of the weapon uh, this one if you want to add uh, any attachment it could be either a flashlight laser or any other attachment uh, clear this up clear this up so for the weapon socket you can customize your socket so if I go to uh, our animation here and go to the skeleton tree for this gun right here I'm using uh, let's see I made a custom socket on the right hand and I called it mp5 
So if you have another gun that is not lining with your existing socket, just right click on the right hand, add socket, set the mesh, preview the mesh like in here. You can preview mesh on the socket. Uh, you can add a preview and just call your gun or a rifle or whatever and then adjust it to line up with animation and boom then that's it so our socket for this gun is mp5 and you can name that to whatever you want so just we'll call it mp5 the hostile socket you can keep it as is the rest is shoot this gun rechamber uh, this is for pistol or uh, sorry for the shotgun or a sniper uh, so in this case is not we want submachine we should use a burst firing mode then we're gonna go fire rate so this is how fast your firing rate so seven hundred fifty is for the rifle maybe this one is more fast so we can go we can go 850 uh, this value is also responsible for the the visual effect the recoil when you shoot how much the gun how fast that recoil is going to play uh, visually, you will see it. Uh, bullet in, in burst, so we can put 8. So this is how many how many bullets you're going to shoot uh, in one hold. Weapon spread, so you can control how much the spread on a gun when you shoot. Uh, if when you are aiming, uh, it's reduced. When you are not, it's going to fire uh, wildly crazy so if you increase this number it will go crazy wild so you can control that number of uh, value of the spread the magazine capacity it's just for this tutorial we'll keep it as is auto reload if you want to reload once the mag is empty melee damage how much damage we do and the delay for the damage this one is relatively to the animation the of the melee so you just want to pick the the, the time when the impact on the animation like when it's hit so you can check the montage and just pick the time and put it right here uh, projectile setup so we have a base projectile if you want to change the trail the visual on the trail of the projectile or even the mesh so you can just create a child of this base and use that for any type of weapons the speed of a projectile you can reduce it or make it faster how many uh, bullets per shot for shotgun usually usually you have multiple for a rifle pistol or any other weapons you have only one damage how much damage you do and the multiplayer damage so this one for headshots so if you want to have uh, insta kill you just set this to the max HP of your enemies uh, do you want the bullet to bounce back or when you hit a surface? So for animation, I already have prepped them in advance, so we don't waste time just to prep them. If we go to MP5, as you can see, I have all the montages uh, and also I have the blend space for the MP5. The speed here is set to 720. You can change this on the blend space and also you need to change it on the settings of your uh, FPS toolkit. So if you go here on the movement speed, you can see the max is 720. So if you change this, make sure your blend space also change accordingly. Uh, all right, so now we can sit on our data table, uh, our new stuff. So if we go MP5, we have our mp5 blend space jump start so we can type in mp5 start and it will give us the jump loop so mp5 loop and for land mp5 land so for the land here this is i wrote a comment local additive so make sure when you go to your animation you go to uh, additive, additive settings, make sure it's local space, uh, scaled animation frame, and make sure you set the idle of this gun, so of this pose. In our case, MP5 idle. Uh, it's very important, otherwise, you're gonna get some weird results. All right.
next for the slide Now we need the gun animation. So I do have uh, an anim blueprint for the MP5 and I'll show you what's in it. So you can right click on your mesh create anim blueprint and all I have is an idle and a default slot so we can play our montages for the gun. So we'll set it there. We can leave the idle empty. All right, so we set all the animations for the gun. Next is the finisher type. So the finishers actually, they don't play randomly, but you can set what type of finisher you want for your project or for weapon. So if you want to go third person finisher, then all the weapons, you can set them to set to 3P. I left this option for you. So you have more choices. If you want one gun, third person and the other first person feel free but you can set it right here the finisher type is the perspective so either 3p or first person then you have the data table for the finisher for this weapon so all you have to do is just go to your finishers whether it's a first person or third person and you just duplicate this and name it mp5 mp5 finishers and now I, I have that 3p if you want the first person use this one so the system does support finishers per weapon you don't have to stick with the knife you can easily change the mesh right here the socket on the third person mesh because this is a third person so we want to go to the third person mesh and set our socket so the guns is lined up then you set your montage inside the montage you can add a visual effect for the muzzle visual effect for the blood you can add sound effect for firing if the finisher is shooting the enemy on whatnot but you will you'll figure it out so you can add all those cues inside the finisher montages set them up set the distance and the damage and then just go back to the weapon and we just set our new data table right here so each weapon will have its own whether first person or third person finisher then we go to the cosmetic for this one here the linear angle it should be unified for all the weapons but if you want to change per each then you can change it the aim speed uh, heavier weapon should have slower speed light weapon should have faster the aim point distance this is from the screen to the site you can increase that distance or bring it closer the five the how much the zoom uh, the background recoil this is the gun bouncing back when shooting you can increase this number to have more visual put it at eight and we can increase this to two so the upward is tilting up when you shoot so you have back and up and these values are multiplied together to get the final result uh, so the hand sway if you want stronger sway a higher value if you put zero literally you mute that sway you'll have no sway at all so you can play with these values to get the feel you want for each gun then we have the gun cues so for the gun cues uh, since this is a submachine we're gonna use a looping sound is better because it's cleaner uh, and also we have a trail when you finish shooting you'll hear that trail sound uh, of the gun the volume of the firing the muzzle effect for the shooting muzzle effect and also the camera shake and the strength of the camera shake so because uh, this this loop here the cue that i have is for a rifle is more slow uh, and it's thicker so for a submachine you want something faster 
uh, and also uh, not as a thick sound so you want something more sharp so we'll go to sound here duplicate this and we can change the pitch the overall pitch we'll set it to something 135 and I will not set it uh, yet I will show you the difference so now that we have everything good and set save the next step go to your player go to the component and scroll down to what it says current weapons so the current weapons this is what the weapon you want your player to start with you can add multiple you can limit how many weapon you can carry inside the game after or you can just uh, start with one and, and let the player pick up weapons in the game so for this case we will we want mp5 this is the weapon that we're going to test it's the weapon that we add and if you want more you just click add add and you can add as many weapons you want so for us it's mp5 and this name that i put here must match the row name otherwise the system will print uh, there is no such weapon in your uh, data table you can't recognize it so must the naming should match all right so we're going to compile we're going to give it a test and as you can see we equipped the new weapon everything is lined up everything is good the ats nice and smooth our weapon sway everything is good our run our attack sprint slide and our shooting so as you can see uh, that is because I have a higher value on our cosmetic as you can see I have a higher value of 2 if we set this back to less uh, lower number we can bring that recoil down so you can have full control see it's much better now and I think it's perfect so the firing sound it's a little bit thick for this type of machine so what I told you earlier is we can come back here and set our new loop that we made this one here with a higher pitch and just set this up play now it's better now it's perfect as you see reload of course there is no sound for reload perfect it sounds awesome it feels so good you can jump it does feel so good all right so this is all about uh, today's tutorial i hope you like this tutorial i'll be making more until then have a nice day and thank you for watching